For years, Jesse Hyman has had hip pain. She first noticed it some years ago after giving birth to her second child. But if any pain or any little thing happened, it seemed like it was on the left side. As time went on, she simply managed to live with it. After all, hip pain is not uncommon in her family. She's seen it before. But the whole family suffered, mostly, you know, some worse than others, you know. Tired of suffering and never really having heard of hip osteoarthritis before, Jesse joined the Johnston County Osteoarthritis Project to find answers. It sounded the same thing as my granddad had suffered from. The project originates in Johnston County, North Carolina, and follows more than 3,200 residents of that rural community. It examines multiple aspects of the impact and effects of osteoarthritis within a population. Jesse joined a research component that explores the differences of hip arthritis among African Americans and whites. African Americans really are not spared hip osteoarthritis. Previous studies out of the Caribbean and Africa suggested that somehow African blacks are protected from hip arthritis. This concept extended to African Americans. The thought being that African Americans somehow had fewer instances of hip osteoarthritis. Not so, says Dr. Joanne Jordan, professor of rheumatology, allergy, and immunology at the Thurston Arthritis Research Center at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. They had very similar rates, if not higher rates, than the whites in our particular study. We were very surprised to find that African Americans had the same amount of x-ray evidence of osteoarthritis in the hip as the whites did. We were also surprised to see that not only were there x-ray evidence uh, of, of this, but there were also symptoms associated with it. Jordan says that physicians may not be diagnosing African Americans with hip osteoarthritis as often as symptoms among patients and x-ray evidence suggest they should. If this is a concept in their mind that African Americans just don't get hip away, they may not be quite tuned in or listening or paying attention to some of the symptoms that, that patients may come in with. She urges physicians to take closer notice. It does point out the potential for unmet need. In other words, if, if this does become particularly symptomatic or they're potentially in need of joint replacement or other therapies, they may not be getting it. In the end, it leaves sufferers like Jesse Hyman wondering and in pain. She hopes the Johnston County Osteoarthritis Project can uncover a lot of unanswered questions for herself and family generations to come. I wonder why, why my granddaddy couldn't do any better than that. You know, he couldn't hop and all and hurt, and hurt all the time. My uncle let her know. There had to be a reason. I don't know anything we could do about it. I'm Stephanie Creighton reporting.